Hello and welcome, I'm Josh with US Cutter and today we're going to be showing you how to cut and layer heat transfer vinyl with a vinyl cutter. And today we're not just using any vinyl cutter, we're using the Prism Cut which is a brand new cutter from US Cutter and this machine is amazing. It's wireless and it also can cut small fine detail. We do text all the way down to 2mm at trade shows, it's amazing. US Cutter gives you a choice of free software whenever you purchase any vinyl cutter and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to form a layered cut in both of the softwares that we offer. And the very first piece of software we're going to be looking at is the Vinyl Master software. The Vinyl Master software is only for Windows PC computers and it comes in multiple tiers. I am currently using the Vinyl Master DSR version but what I'm about to show you can be used in every single version of Vinyl Master. For my file format, I'm going with the .svg, and uh, this allows me to resize and reshape and automatically just cut the image without having to vectorize it because it's already in a format that's ready for my cutter and I can resize it without having to worry about any pixelation. When I resize this puppy, I want to hold down the shift key. That way it keeps it in proportion and I don't have a goofy looking cut. After resizing it, I'm going to want to make sure that my cut area is big enough and you're going to do that right here. I have mine set to 20 inches by 20 inches, so easy peasy. Once you are ready to cut, you want to make sure that you have the entire image and area selected that you want to cut. I just clicked and dragged and dropped my mouse over it. And then you're going to go up here to the blade holder and then select send to cutter. And then once you've selected that, it's going to bring up the send to be cut page very original name and that's gonna have a lot of options that I'm gonna let you hear about in this pre-recorded thing that I made right here you can select your cutter I've got the prism cut selected here you can set the media width uh, here I'm gonna set it here to 20 inches and then you've got a couple options we've got the rotate and as you can see when I click it it's not as tall uh, but it is a little bit wider next this mirror thing is important because we're using heat transfer vital uh, so anytime you cut heat transfer vinyl, make sure you mirror it so that when you press it, it'll look correct. This advanced after plot will move it up to that line after it's done cutting. Next up, we have a very important button, and that's going to be our separate by color button. When I don't have this checked, I don't have my colors up here in the top above my preview. Uh, but when I do check this box, I have all four colors separated. And when I click on each color, you can see that the preview changes down below. Uh, and you'll notice that it changes for each color. So very important that you do that if you're going to be doing a layered design. The next thing that we're going to show you is the registration marks. But this box right here will turn on the registration marks and that's going to put little crosshairs in every single corner around your image. But the downside to this is, you know, you will be able to line it up, but it uses a lot of vinyl. So keep that in mind if you're going to do that. Next, we have the auto weed boxes. Um, you know, that's got the little circle that you know, puts the box around it, makes it easier to weed. Then next you have the auto speed weed, uh, which will put a little line in it, which I should have done on my example, but uh, I didn't. So, you know, hindsight's 20-20, right? But uh, other than that, you know, just got a few little things down here, you know, if you've got some text and speed weeding for that, but nothing else. But once we're ready to cut, just select the color you want, load that color in your vinyl, and then hit cut, and then proceed with the cutting, and you're good to go. Next up is Surecuts A Lot Pro 4. This software works on Mac and PC, so you can pick your poison. I'm just going to drag and drop my .svg file in, and then I'm going to move it onto the cutting mat if your cutting mat is not big enough. Then you can expand it once I'm done moving it. Uh, you can expand it by going up here to the top where it says cutter. And you're going to click that, bring down a drop down menu, and then you can go to mat size and that'll let you choose your mat. Or you can create your own custom size like I did here for 20 inches by 20 inches. All right, real quickly, I'm going to show you that if you move the red, you'll notice that uh, it's in multiple layers. SVG makes it easy for me. When we're ready to cut, just go ahead and select this cutter button up here, and you'll see that I have the prism cut selected. I've got my IP address, and you know, again, prism cut, wonderful cutter. Uh, right here is a very important button that's going to mirror it, and we are using heat transfer vinyl. Right above that, you're going to have the cut selected. So if I actually had everything highlighted and selected like we did in Vinyl Master, that's what I would need to have selected. Right above that is a top 
menu page and that says cut to color. I click that and then I have all of my colors lined up here and notice that it has the, the proper layering configuration. You'll start with black on top or you know cut the black first because it'll be on bottom. Cut the gray second because it'll be in the middle and then finally cut the red and put it on top because that's the final layer. It honestly doesn't matter what color you put in because it's whatever color you feed inside your vinyl cutter. All right, it's weeding time. I'm gonna show a little footage sped up because I'm only removing the unused vinyl away from the design. The vinyl that I'm using in today's example is our Color Theory Primary and Color Theory Glitter HTV. Once everything's been weeded, I like to put everything together on top of each other just to make sure it looks right. I'm not a graphic designer or an artist of any kind, so you know my colors might be terrible. So I always wanna just put them on top of each other to make sure that my graphic looks decent. And you can see I did a pretty good job here with the little bulldog. And for the bulldog's logo, um, I went and used two different alternate colors for the final. I've got black down at the bottom, gray in the middle, and then at the top I've got either blue or white with the glitter, just so that I could show you multiple colors. And now to everyone's favorite part, I'm going to press it down to the shirt. I'm using a 15 by 15 inch swing arm heat press for this example, and it's set to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm going to be pressing and tacking the vinyl to the shirt at different times. And I'm going to be using what's called a two second tack. This means that I will be pressing the bottom layers of color theory to the shirt for about two seconds before peeling away the backer. This is going to prevent any shrinkage or damage or gaps in my vinyl uh, you know, once I've finished my layered design. Now I won't be able to do this same thing for the glitter because it's thicker and requires the entire 15 seconds for you to get it to transfer properly. But as you can see, what I'm doing right here in this example for the bottom three layers, I'm going to be able to do my two second tack with the Color Theory Primary HTV. And then with my final layer, I've used the black glitter. So I'm gonna to have to press that for around 15 seconds. But even if I wasn't using the glitter, you still wanna press your final layer for about 15 seconds. That way you can make sure that everything's pressed nice and firmly down into the t-shirt. Another little nugget of advice I'm going to give you is uh, if you're having trouble laying, lining up stuff because you didn't use registration marks like I did, just go ahead and lay down you know, a layer on top of another and then peel away one of the layers once you've got it uh, all nice and straight as you're seeing me do right here. Another thing is make sure that you trim away all the excess vinyl because if you look in the bottom left hand corner where my hand is, uh, I have a little piece of white vinyl down there. Uh, don't worry, I'll cover it up later, but you know, always pay attention when you're pressing it to the shirt so you don't make mistakes like this. All right, so now we're going to press the blue collar down, and that's using the Color Theory Primary HTV so I can do a two second tack, hit it, press it, peel it, I'm good to go. Uh, then we've got the black. Uh, which I'm using the Color Theory Glitter. And as I mentioned before, the glitter uh, takes a little bit longer for you to actually apply it, so I won't be able to use a two second tack as I'm gonna show you here. I'm gonna try it, but you're gonna notice when I peel it, not everything is gonna come off and I'm gonna have to press it again. And you'll also notice that I have cut the collar off of the image. As I previously mentioned, it'll do some shrinking or expanding when pressing it. So I cut the collar off so that I can make sure that my outline lines up much better. And you can see clearly the two second tack doesn't work. So I'm gonna to wanna to press it again for the full 15 seconds to make sure that that transfers over on top of the other vinyls. Now I did mention that I did cut the collar off so that I could apply them individually. Yes, it's gonna take a little bit more time, but the results are gonna be worth it because I'm gonna have a nice glitter outline around my entire image and it's just gonna look really nice. So there we have it, a uh, basic t-shirt from start to finish using some layering. And that's going to be with three layers of normal heat transfer vinyl on the bottom, and then the final being that glitter. And again, you know, I had some shrinkage, so I had to do, make some changes. And you'll have to do that on the fly with some things. Uh, next, what about if we want to do one that's all glitter? Well, technically you're not supposed to do that. They no vendor really recommends that, but a lot of customers do it anyway. So I'm gonna show you the best way to do that. Um, and if you, anybody else has any tips, let us know down in the comments below. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're pressing the shirt and I've got a temperature over there, 325 degrees for 15 seconds. 
But the thing about glitter is, you know, it's uneven. And, you know, when you're pressing it, you want to try to make sure that there's no air pockets in between those glitter. It's going to be impossible, but the way you do that is to press it uh, with some medium high pressure. The higher pressure, you know, the better. Um, so, and you're going to try and keep those air pockets out because, you know, with it being uneven and air pockets and just being a solid chunk of glitter with more glitter stacked on it, it's going to be kind of hard and thick. Uh, and then also, you know, if you're washing it, um, you know, water can get in between those air pockets and then make the adhesive start to come up. So that's why a lot of manufacturers are not going to recommend that you layer their glitter. And then once you've done your last press, you always want to do a finishing press with your non-stick sheet. And that's always for all HTV and it's really going to press that adhesive nice and firmly down into the shirt. And here you can see we've got a nice blinging bulldog with the bulldog's logo down below. And then, you know, I've got one that just has a few layers of glitter. That's going to hold up much better in the wash uh, than the other. Well, that's pretty much the basics of how you layer HTV. And, you know, we did some t-shirts. And next week, if you make sure you subscribe or sign up for our newsletter, and we'll show you how to do a football, softball, and maybe some ribbons. Utilize your heat press to do things outside of the normal. We'll show you how you can do that. Maybe you can make some cool little trophies or something, you know, a keepsake, or maybe make some money. Who knows? Feel free to drop a message in the comments if you want to see something else, or if you like the video, uh, give it a like or a thumbs up, whatever you feel like doing. Um, be sure if you have any support questions, contact us at support at uscutter.com. That way we can handle that as promptly as possible. And if you want to talk sales, shoot an email to sales at uscutter.com. Peter, Brian, they're happy to talk to you and they're standing by to help you out. Well, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.